Hello everyone, welcome to the tutorial number one of assembly language. Now, in order to use assembly coding, we I will use DOSBox 0.74 because I have a 64 version of Microsoft. But if you have a 32 version of Microsoft, then you already have a debug in your computer. So let me start with the coding. I will simply go to DOSBox 0.74. Now, first I have to mount my debug on some drive so I'll uh, mount it in the D drive mount D D colon hash D colon debug dot exe okay so it's mounted first of all I will just see the mem uh, the commands of uh, the assembly language by typing question mark as you can see now I can view all the commands of the assembly language now let's start with a simple code how to add two numbers on debug now the thing is that we have four kind of general purpose registers AX, BX, CX, DX which are 16 bit and then they are further divided each is divided into two AL means higher bit byte and AL means lower byte which is 8 bit so if you want to add two digits you will use the higher or lower byte and if you want to add four digits then you will of course use uh, uh, hexadecimal or AX so let's start uh, write a simple code and add uh, 23 with uh, 12 so what I will do is that I will go to any memory location let's go to 1000 and then I will write move AX 23 it means sorry I will use AL which is uh, the lower byte of uh, AX AL is 8 byte uh, 8 bit and AX is 16 bit so as I'm adding 8 bit numbers I will use AL AL 23 it means that move the number 23 in AL in the general purpose register AL and then move in BH or I can use BL um, 12 so move 12 in BH which is uh, 8 bit and after that I will simply add AL with BH and then I will stop the program and I will type halt okay sorry halt this is the spelling and then I will just leave the memory location now in order to see my result I will type G equal the first memory location that is 1000 and the second memory, lo uh, the last memory location that is 1006, which is on halt. So, what it will do, it will show the result from 1000 to 1006. Let's see. Okay, as you can, as 23 plus 12 is 35, so always the result is in the first source uh, that is AL. So, AL means lower byte. So here is the R35 because 00 is higher byte and 35 is the lower byte. So the result is on the lower byte of AX and then BX is 12 as you can see. Uh, on the higher byte we have 12 and on the lower byte there is 0. And after that uh, this was the addition. Now let's do one more code. If we want to see if we want to see our flags, you know, AX, BX, CX, DX are the general purpose re register. SP is the stack pointer, uh, SP, BP, SI, DI, DS, ES, SS, CS are the pointers. IP is the instru uh, instruction pointer and these are the flags. Um, let us just focus on three flags uh, in this video carry flag 
this is no carry it means it's reset zero zero flag over here it's not zero it means that it is reset and has the value of zero and then um, auxiliary carry flag auxiliary carry flag is also on a reset status and it has a zero value so let me write another code a 2000 let's choose the memory location 2000 this time then I want to activate or set my carry and auxiliary carry flag so what I will do is uh, I will simply write um, AX move in AX FFFF which is the L last memory location of uh, microprocessor then move in BX one 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 then add AX with BX and then halt and I will leave the memory location now and I will go from 2000 to 2008 so as you can see the carry flag has been set over here and has a value of 1 and the auxiliary carry flag has also been set and it has a value of 1 um, so these two flags have been set uh, because we had a carry and as there are four numbers hence we have an auxiliary carry because auxiliary carry is for hexadecimal or 16-bit numbers let's do one more code which is uh, I want to see I want to set my flag 0 so what should I do in order to set my flag 0 as you know that if you XOR two same numbers the result is zero so let's do this by using the assembly language let me go to another memory location let's choose 3000 now and s let's just move in AX 1 2 3 4 and then XOR AX with AX and then halt now my result should now the carry flag should be set so let's see not the carry but the zero flag should be set because anything if you XOR with itself the result is zero so let's see if it works here G equal 3000 to 3005 that it means that I'm telling the computer to compile the result from 3000 to 3005 as you can see over here zero flag has been set and has the value 1 so this was a very simple tutorial of debug in which I covered addition of two numbers and then how to set three flags which is uh, carry flag auxiliary carry flag and zero flag thank you so much for watching goodbye